Hey everyone, I'm back with a thrift haul. I haven't done one of these in a while and I found tons of goodies today. So we're just gonna jump right in. It's gonna be a little like comfortable. I'm not gonna put you up on a tripod. I'm just gonna turn you around and walk you through all my goods to have them laid out in front of the table, in front of us on the table. Let's take a look at what I found. I'm pretty sure some little boy just cleared out his truck collection because look at all this goodness and everything is in such good condition. Now the last thing Weston needs is another car or truck, but I just could not pass them up because they're in such great condition and the prices were phenomenal. So I can pass them out to grandma's houses or store them away until Christmas. I just couldn't. I mean, look at how cute this is. I just called a truck cute. Oh my gosh, I'm totally a boy mom. Um, but it's cute and it was, where's the price? This one doesn't, oh, this one I remember. She said it was $1.99 because I was like, what? I thought she was gonna say it was more. But um, it does some stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's got the little lights in the front. And I think this goes up and down or something. I don't know. All of the annoying sounds, so there you go. So that one was $1.99. This one is $2.99. That's why I was saying I couldn't pass these up because at the store I think these are around 20 bucks. Um, and we have one that was given to us by a family member and they're kind of pricey. So uh, $1.99, $2.99, I just couldn't pass it up, you know what I'm saying? This raises, but I forget how I... There you go. And she's so cute. He's gonna love that one. Um, I also picked up a little Mater. Weston loves Mater and he has a little tiny like hand-sized blue one so he'll be excited to get this one. This one was 99 cents. You can't see the price tag but it says 99 cents. And then I love a good old metal dump truck because I feel like they hold up really well. Um, this little dumper is metal and so is the front part. And this was $1.99. These are, I love dump trucks for road trips because when we stop at um, like little, you know, like rest areas and stuff, I'll always pack dump trucks for him because he can put rocks and leaves in them and the play at the rest areas, like over in the wood. There's usually like a wooded area you can play in. And then this big guy, look at this one. The fire truck. So we um, are purchasing gifts for Weston's birthday, which is, let me turn you around. Weston's birthday is this weekend and I actually was just at Toys R Us with my mom yesterday and I was really thinking hard on getting him a fire truck. He loves fire trucks and he doesn't have any like really big good ones. But they're so expensive. The one I picked out for him was mispriced and like in the wrong area and on the, the shelf it said that it was like $39 but when I scanned it to check it said $52. No thank you. So I did not get a fire truck at Toys R Us. So when I went in to the uh, Goodwill today and saw this, I was like, yes! So it's a little dirty, like dusty. I need to clean it up a bit. But this one was $4.99 and it needs batteries, but it makes all kinds of sounds and lights up. And then look at this. Get excited, guys. Get excited, I can't make it do it. Oh, I was making it harder than what it is. This thing goes out. And then I'm pretty sure this raises up, but I don't want to force it and then break it, you know? I need to put some batteries in it. So $4.99 for that, good deal, right? And then she said if it doesn't work when I put batteries in it, I can take it back. One of my favorite sections in a thrift store to check out is the book section. I just feel like I always find such good stuff and you know, like vintage or just brand new books for the kids. We do an Advent Christmas book collection every year. It was one of my favorite traditions that we started last year, so I will add this one to our book Advent collection. Do you guys remember reading these? I read these books when I was a kid. I loved all these books. So um, that one's called Just a Snowman. And then I found this old copy of Rudolph. All of the artwork, it's just so pretty. Um, I think this one's a little bit too wordy for my boys now, so I'll probably just put it in the box that I store all of our Christmas books, and then trade it out when they get a little bit older for one of the babier books um, for the book admin. Another one I got for Weston, I think I might wrap this up and give it to him for his birthday but the art is really pretty, or illustration I guess is what I should say, and I think he's gonna really like this book, and it looks brand stinking new. Okay, so 
I talked about getting vintage stuff. I always, always, always look for vintage children's books because the illustrations are just, oh, they're just so, so cute. And for those of you who know me, know that I am obsessed with anything that has to deal with like the woods or cabins or anything like that. And I was flipping through this book and the illustrations are really awesome. But there was one in particular that really caught my eye and it was this one. So it's two hiking people, it's a woman and a man. And you can see the mountains in the background and the pine trees and it's just, I don't know, it just spoke to me. It just like me and Kent and our hiking adventures and then our little children come along. And so I think what I'm gonna do is take this out, have it matted and frame this one in my office. And this book costs 50 cents. So I'm going to get a special piece of artwork for 50 cents, not including the frame of course, but I will find a cheap frame. Maybe from Goodwill. Oh, and I like this Fox one too. I could put the Fox one in Carson's room. How cute, right? So it's it's like an old um, look and find picture thing. So it tells you like, here's the such and such and you might find these things and you're supposed to circle them. But geez Louise, like the illustrations are just, ah, beautiful. Okay, speaking of illustrations, I had a really hard time. If you're on Snapchat, you saw me talking about this one. I went back and forth because honestly, I don't really have a need for it. Um, and I try to be really purposeful with my Goodwill purchases, thrift store purchases, but I just could not not get this one. I mean, look at how stinking cute the illustrations are. I can think of a million things I can do with this, but here's the thing, will I ever actually do it? That's the question. So, I don't know, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't not get it. Um, the little preschool that Weston's going to, their um, office is decorated in this kind of stuff, so I thought about offering it to them to see if they wanted to frame some of the pictures. Um, some of it is marked on, but a lot of it's not. But just, oh, it's just precious. So this was, was 50 cents as well. We'll have to figure out something for that. Okay, on to the old records. I love, love, love. When my boys aren't with me and I have time just to like dig through all the records and I look up the albums on my phone and kind of make my decision. So um, this is an old Christmas record. And I really love the artwork on this one. So it's a good album. It's just like a, you know, an instrumental orchestra kind of Christmassy music. But I don't know, I might frame this because I like how it just kind of looks cool. And I might frame it and put it out during Christmas. Mellow guitar, all of those are $1.50 each. And fitting along with the whole uh, book selection, I got this one, it's White Pine by Mary Oliver. I've been really into reading um, either people's memoirs or poems or short stories about their times like out in the wilderness and what it's done for their soul and people just have so many beautiful written pieces on that kind of a thing and of course because I'm obsessed with all things like wilderness and wood, I just really love reading those. So I've been on the hunt for a good one and I wanted to, to start a collection but it was just like a thought in my mind. So when I saw this, this was over in the kids section, it was just kind of like shoved there. I think somebody was thinking about getting it and then put it back. I snatched it up, I went and read some of the poems and then I looked this lady up online and it's reviewed really well. So I'm gonna put this in my office next to my little thrifted chair and whenever I have a moment to have some coffee, I'll just sit down and pick one and read it. It's really beautiful so far. The ones that I've read are really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a fall home haul pretty soon. So you're gonna see this one pop up again, but because I picked it up today, I thought I would go ahead and show it to you. She charged me $1.99 for this, and uh, I think I'm gonna put it actually on this table with some pumpkins on top. I think it'll look really great for fall. And this little hat is going to go in Carsey Bear's room. He has kind of a camping wilderness theme. So I'm gonna put a little hook in his room and put it on the hook. This was $4.99. And now we're gonna get to the clothes stack. Let me get all of it set up and I'll be right back. All right, we'll start with Weston's stuff first. Um, this is a Baker cardigan, Ted Baker. Look at how stinking cute this thing is. $2.49, it looks brand new. I don't think it's gonna fit him this year. It's gonna be a next year thing, but I just couldn't pass it up because it's so cute and it looks, like I said, brand new. This would be good for him to wear to school. We're playing on the playground because I don't care if it gets messed up because it was so cheap. Um, another top I got for him to wear out at recess when he's at school, long sleeve. It's a Cherokee and this one was $2.49. And then I picked him up a couple pairs of shorts. I think these are also Cherokee. Yeah, $2.49 for those. Little pinstripe shorts. Seersucker, I guess that's what it's called. $2.49. And just some khaki jean. Uh, I guess what do you call it? Like 
is that khaki is a material and this is jean. So what, what do we call this, guys? Like sand washed, uh, washed jean? Sure, let's go with that. Okay, I wanna show you this first and then I'm gonna tell you a story of why I picked this one up. So this is a flannel from the men's department. It's $3.99. So when I was in Colorado, we went with this store called Marigold's Farm Funk and Junk, something kind of like that. I actually picked up something for you guys there as well that we're gonna do in a giveaway when I get all my Colorado posts up, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, I snapped a picture of this really cute flannel, and you can tell that it was like a thrifted flannel. They cut the tag out of the back and then sewed on this really cute like patchwork piece of fabric. And then it was bleached, like tie-dye bleach though. So you could still see the flannel, but it had like sections of it where they had literally like I guess dipped it in bleach. I don't know. I'm gonna do some research because one of you said that you saw someone do that on Pinterest. So they were charging $45 for those tops at this store, which I think is nuts because I know that you probably paid two to four dollars for that at a thrift store. So that's why I picked this one up. I'm gonna try it with this one, just like a test run. I think it might be kind of light because the bleach may not bleach the material as much. Like they did a lot of like black and tan and navy and red, but this one fit really well and I thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna try it with this one first and if I do an okay job, I'm gonna go back and get more. So the process goes. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. I have to look it up first and see like what I need to do. And then the sweaters. Y'all, the sweaters were a rockin' at Goodwill today. So this one was, I think it's four, $4.99, it is so stinking soft, and it's kind of hard to see what it looks like on camera. I think it's one of those ones that you need to wear, but it has the sleeves like back in here, and this kind of gathers around your neck, and then just kind of hangs, almost like a scarfy shawl kind of thing. And um, it covers your booty, so it'd be really good with leggings, and I love the back of it. Really, really cute. This one, I was pretty excited to find this one. It's a little bit more expensive, $9.99. Seriously, for Goodwill, that's kind of a lot. But it's vintage Christian Dior, hello. This one is, um, it kind of reminds me of a boyfriend Cardi, the way it fits. It's, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but when I put it on, it was kind of slouchy and I like the big pockets right here. It has these old school um, shoulder pads in it that I'm gonna have to take out. But I think it's gonna be really cute with like some ripped jeans like rolled up at the bottom with some gray uh, corduroy, not, oh my goodness gracious, what is that material? Suede, some gray suede booties. Wouldn't that be cute in like a little soft necklace? I try to be really intentional about the things that I get because if I just buy stuff because I like it then I know and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, it'll just stick, stick around and then I'll have so much junk in my house. So I have to kind of think like, okay, I like this piece, but why do I like it? How am I gonna wear it? Or how am I gonna use it if it's something else, you know? So that whenever I get it home, I actually have a place and a purpose for it. Okay, another sweater, $4.99. This sweater was kind of ginormous on me, but I liked that it kind of falls off the shoulder a little bit because it's big. It hangs really nice in the booty. This part's a little bit longer in the back and it's very soft and kind of sheer, so it'd be great for Texas fall and winter. And I think it'd be cute with some leggings and just some boots because it's a little bit slouchy. This one, I was really excited to find this one. This one might be one of those ones that's like cuter on than just, you know, that you just see. But it has this little fur, fur, fur faux collar, that is hard to say, $4.99. And then these little tassel pom-pom things, oh my gosh, it's so cute, I really love this one. Um, do you guys know, I haven't looked up this, I literally bought this stuff today so I haven't even researched anything to see what it's worth, but 7th Avenue, I feel like this is made really nice, so I don't know if that's a nicer brand or not, I've never heard of it, but I think it's worth a look, worth a look see. So, and the cool thing is, see these little buttons right here, you can actually unbutton this collar if you just want to have it a knitted vest without the fur on it, but the fur is pretty darn cute, so I think I'll leave it on. That is it! Oh my goodness, right? Like that's a jackpot. So all of this stuff right here, whenever I checked out, do you guys want to guess how much it cost? I'll give you a second to guess. Okay, let me tell you, it was $50 for all of this. It might have been $50, like 51, 52. It was right around there. It was under $60 for all of this stuff. 
there's just no way. Like, there's just no way you can, no, you just can't do it. So, yay for Goodwill, yay for thrifting. I'm excited for fall to be back. That means Canton's coming into town, y'all. If you live in Texas, Canton is this massive flea market that takes over blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks out in country Texas, and we love going out there in the fall, so that's gonna be coming up soon. So this is just the beginning. Get excited, I'm excited. I hope everybody has a great week whenever I get this posted, and I will see you guys when I see ya, bye!